families of nine service members who were killed during a training accident off the coast of San Clemente have filed a lawsuit against the manufacturer of the AAV they were in. ABC 10 News reporter Marie Cornell shows us why they say the company is to blame. During the news conference that was held inside of the Holiday Inn, the lawyers called the AAVs these service members were in death traps, saying they were designed with defective equipment. We also heard from family members who spoke about their loss. It kind of took my life. He left behind seven other brothers and sisters. And they loved that boy. There's a hole in my family I can't fix. And I don't want another mother standing at a door at 7 a.m. with two casualty officers telling her that her son is missing. Christiana Sweetwood couldn't hold back the tears as she spoke about her son, Lance Corporal Chase Sweetwood, who was one of eight Marines and a sailor killed during a training accident last July. When the assault amphibious vehicle or AAV they were in sank off the coast of San Clemente Island. Today, the lawyers representing the families announced they are filing a lawsuit against the manufacturer of the AAVs, BAE's system, citing a design defect. The Marine Corps official report says it was the combination of quote human and mechanical failures that caused the sinking of the AAV and contributed to a delayed rescue effort. The real reason they died was there was no way for them to get out alive. And BAE Systems has known about this defect for decades and they never bothered to fix it or notify the military. Family members say they'd also like the military to keep the AAVs out of the water, fearful this type of tragedy will happen again. We expected them to to come back in his uniform. We did not expect them to, to come back in Coffin. I did reach out to BAE Systems for a comment, but I'm still waiting to hear back from them. Reporting from Oceanside, Marie Cornell, 